playing. You might need a theme song for your shit. Check this out. Ow, turn this out loud. Let this shit seep in. JackThriller.com. We creep in. Snoop Dogg to the left. Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com. Do it all night. Hit the website. Hit us up real quick. If you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. Yo, 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 and we back. Yo, D-Ray, DJ T-Ray, bring that on down. Hey, man, we got the world-famous DJ T-Rex, man, all the way from pinups and stuff, man. Hey, welcome back to another amazing episode <laughs> of New Jack Thriller City. Man, hey, man, come on now, come on, come on. Hey, coming in live from Atlanta, baby. Coming in live from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Hey, every week that I'm going to be bringing you some of the, the best and, um, you know, the most impossible possible uh, uh, interviews slash uh, appearances uh, slash uh, 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 um, just monumental moments and whatnot, you know, um, th things that you grew up on, things that you didn't grow up on, things that your mama had grew up on and whatnot, and uh, we're doing it all up on this show. It's a mashup, man. It's a party. Everybody's invited. Oh! Everybody's invited, man. And today we got one of the ATL legends up in this motherfucker, man. And you know, um, I've been uh, rocking to this dude, man, ever since he first came down. I got geeked up. <laughs> I got tatted up, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I was starting to see spaceships in Bankhead and whatnot. <laughs> and you know, we starting to see spaceships right now all over the world and everything. He called it a long time ago. Back. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere back in 2005, 2003, man. But, hey, he been here before that. But if you didn't know that, hey, you know what I'm saying? We're going to lean with it. we about to rock with it. we about to laugh it, taff it. we about to snap to it. Man, y'all get up for my player party, my homeboy, Fabo! Oh! Barbara! Tad it up! What's up, Jack? Hey, man, what's happening, man? This is, hey, dog, you the gospel with that shit right there, bro. I feel like, I feel like I'm on Letterman, uh, Kimmel. Uh, something like that. I mean, instantly when I came in here, I had to get professional because you got the desk and all that, man. I, you know, you really like Conan O'Brien. I, I just instantly got that feeling when I came in here. Hey, bro, me and you, we, we, we've been manifesting and talking about this for a long yeah, time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back when I was over there, this is 50. Yeah. And everything, you know, uh, that's what that, the 50 gave me the idea a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, man. Then, you know, I, I came down to visit you just for the pandemic. Yeah. And yeah. I was doing some things and shit, just networking in man, the Man, you always the been in the mix, though. I, I mean, man, I. Hey, you remember the first time we ever met? Yes. I what was a soldier boy. It was a soldier boy video. Yeah, that man had a Superman outfit on. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Hey, you couldn't miss him because he ran the whole video shoot. Like he made everything go. Even when you ain't know what you was supposed to do, he was putting you over here. Like I'm like, they don't pay you for this. I, I, like he done took over. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Hey, come on, man. Hey, I was just trying to be somebody when I ain't know nobody. Hey, man, that was you the best me? move you could have made, bro. Because you know, at, at taking a chance, I always get you somewhere. Hey, bro, let me tell you something. The, the, the funny, the craziest part about it, and people don't even believe, because I had, I had, it was two major videos going on that day. Yeah. Yeah. One was uh, Duffel Bad Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got them uh, uh, Two Chain, Two Chain and, Lil Wayne. and Lil Wayne. And the other one was Superman. Yeah, Superman. I went to both of them too. Boy, stop! <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't have to tell you. I ain't have to tell you. Bobby, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul, and if you ain't do nothing, you were going to ball. Yeah, man. Come on, <laughs> man. Hey. The craziest part about it, man, shout out to Akeem, the Black Mac. Yeah. Um, you shout know. out to Akeem, man. And shout out to my cousin's uh, 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 cash camp at yeah, the time. Yeah. You know, they had created the Soldier Boy Dance. Yeah. And they was trying to tell me about this, this monumental movement that was going on yeah. in the city. That boy took off, man. Took that, all that, the way that, off. That had me out there doing the dance in the parking lot. Come, come I was on, ready. man. I was ready. <laughs> come on, man. Hey, bro, uh, uh, me and Duval would talk. He would tell. He would tell me, hey, yo, this song going to be big yeah, right here. Yeah, man, Duval, Duval crazy, man. He, he was in the Tatted Up video. He was in everything. Yeah, yeah, Duval was you couldn't stop yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he one of the first people that had the idea. That was y'all era too. Like y'all done had a couple of errors though. That's crazy. Like come on. Era. Uh, black who that smoking. Yep. Uh, come on. Yeah, uh, come on. Okay. That. I remember all that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I remember all that. It, that. We was at every video shoot that was, yeah. man, trying to know what I'm saying, be somebody that didn't, didn't know where we're going to land. Great era, man. Great time, man. It was good time, man. I could have sworn that, you know, I, when I got to the uh, audition for that video, yeah. that I, I, it was going to be 110,000 Supermans there. Yeah, yeah. I was the only <laughs> one. 
I, I was the only nigga came with a Superman suit on. I thought that, I thought that, I thought that man was gonna say something prolific. That man, that man said, I thought everybody gonna have a Superman outfit. I had mine on, you just couldn't see it. You, 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 you been Superman, you been <laughs> Superman. I, 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 I they had no phone booth, so I couldn't change. Did you hear me, you, know? you hear me? <laughs> hey, when you saw me, you were like, oh, it's already another man, nigga to say today. That man had muscles and everything, man. <laughs> All over my shit. <laughs> All over, all over. Hey, niggas don't believe I used to be in shape, man. <laughs> niggas don't believe me. Niggas don't believe I was in shape. Man, tell these niggas, hey. I wasn't always a fat ass nigga, I don't man. Know what you talking about now, man? I, ain't, I don't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, go press rewind, man. Yeah, After man. you break back it up, then and stop. Hey, come on, man. Yeah, Jack, man had muscles and everything back then. Back man. then, Jerry yeah. Curl wig on. Yeah. I had a head full of hair. Hey. <laughs> I had a head full of hair, man. It's funny how money changes situation. Hey, man, sometimes you got to go for what you know. Come on, man. You know. And I ain't no shit, but hey. I was going for it. You had to put that miracle girl in there. Something you hear me? Chia, 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 chia. You just pour a little water on it. Just pour a little water on it, man. Stop. You ain't doing that. <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> Turn it up. <laughs> Atlanta like man is in the Negro building. Spiritual, right there. It's like an old Negro spiritual. Like. Man, but, but I always wanted to ask Barbara! you. <laughs> <laughs> who is Barbara? Man, who? I, who was it? Barbara Bush? Yeah, it was Barbara Bush, man. Was, I, I didn't know I was going to scream her name like that. She just so happened to be the last name I said. And so it went on. I just wanted to find the most least likely people that you would think, you know, least likely people that you would think to have a secret tattoo. And so I, who would think Oprah got one? Oprah and Hillary. Like I'm talking Hillary Clinton. You know, it's like. Martha stood. Martha. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you wouldn't. Uh, you in your mind, you would never think of these women in your mind. That that was who I was talking about. And I, Barbara Bush just came last. <laughs> like she was. Word. She was still around at the time. You know, R.I.P. Barbara. Barbara Bush dead. Yeah. Pray for Jesus. Is that true? Yeah. Barbara Bush dead. Get the, that's facts. Uh, Barbara Walters dead. Barbara Walters dead? R.I.P. Barbara. Everybody named Barbara. How about Barbara, Hannah Barbera? Everybody named Barbara. named Barbara, boy. Hannah Barbera dead. <laughs> I would assume so. You know, it's been since the 20s, ain't it? God damn. <laughs> all right, boy, she rolling over in her grade right now, boy. With, with all the cartoons. With all the cartoons. <laughs> that man said with all the cartoons. Ted Turner took all them people cartoons. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Cartoon Network, man. Hey. hey, hey, we on that side of life now, man. Hey, Jay, I tell you, you on that side. I ain't went over there yet. Ah! Mm. I done claimed that for my damn self. Pray for Jesus. Bro. Hey, bro, I thought we was going to start talking Google, about Jim Brown. Who said Tina what my Turner? Age was, and I'm agree with them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you, hey, Google said I was worth fifty million dollars. Hey, I agree with them. I definitely agree with them because <laughs> you know all the gangsters don't show they were real. You know what I mean? What? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Hey, a bit, yo, Ben had came up me told me <laughs> that I heard you were worth fifty million dollars. <laughs> Y'all didn't see him put a pimp collar on there. Yeah. <laughs> a bit had came. I thought that shit came out just like <laughs> like it was a soul <laughs> too. <laughs> a bit had came. Up. The voice, everything was there <laughs> right there. Like they, we make sure you play. Give me that sound bite for a drop right now. <laughs> a bit had came up to me. <laughs> that boy Gold came me. in the building. Told me, man, that I worth fifty million dollars. Like, oh shit! Yeah. Hey, God ain't through with me yet. Man, I can tell you this much right here. Let me hold some. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, you I got that? You right here, get it on record. Hey, come on now. <laughs> come on now. Come on, it, 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 it too much to get y'all on camera. Hey, it's hey, too much to get y'all hey, on camera. Drop it on the floor, I pick it up. Hey, don't play with him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't never had no problem picking that money up off the floor. <laughs> hey, niggas know about me. Hey, wait. 
ain't got it where I live, no, though, but. I <laughs> nigga. <laughs> hey, shout out to T-Rex. Shout out to T-Rex and Pin Up. We ain't never had no We ain't never had no problem picking it up off the floor. Say he used hey, to work at, go down, He used to work at the up. club. <laughs> Y'all ain't know what he meant when he said he used to work at the club. Right? Come on, man. Cause I couldn't imagine what he was doing in script. Club. Hey, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> I mean, Back when Pin Ups, we used to be guys and dogs, niggas. Yeah. Hey, T-Rex in my line. Ain't lying. No, man. No lie. Niggas used to dance over there. Wait, hold up. I, I, wait, know, I know you're saying up. niggas don't dance no more. All they do is this. Hold up. Wait. No, I thought you was hustling. No, no I didn't know. That's you fact. just took. Wait. That's niggas fact. don't dance no more. You All they do is this. You literally was over there and had a job. I had a, a, a G string, all that shit, man. man. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, around and around and around and let them get to ride it. Help me, Jesus. Yeah, hey, come on. Look. Come on, ride that train. Train, I get to ride. I couldn't imagine, you know, seeing Jack come across that with a cowboy hat on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, me, DJ X rated. Goddamn, Mr. Hey, two weeks out. Hold up. What the nigga name? Dancing was? machine. DJ S rated. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, you, you know he DJ for future. He was DJ for future. Hey, Playboy. But, Playboy, hold up, hold up. yep. Yeah. Well, look, he used to dance, though. Yes! Man, you he had his hair blonde like Cisco. Is Play this snitching one on one? Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> without you. Jeff and George. Yeah. And my, Peter, I see that mama there. Yeah. Hey, man, man, they told him about four people. I ain't got nothing to do with that, y'all. Hey, hey, bro, dog, <laughs> niggas was hustling, man. Somebody yeah. get put out today. Hey, oh, hey. you ain't tell me. Yeah. Uh, Jack said. <laughs> yeah, man. We, would out, we was out here freak naked. He ain't never go down to the Silver Fox. The Silver Fox? Ain't hey, that in Jacksonville? No, nah, nah. that's in Atlanta. It's our bankhead. That was our bankhead. They, they used to have them folks up in there. Long place. ago. <laughs> actually, I actually, fell. The A Town players got their start out of that. Yeah. Oh, C man. Smooth them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That, shout out to the A Town. Goddamn Silver man. Fox. Then that, that shit ancient than a motherfucker, man. Yeah, man. You know, that Silver Fox used to be the spot, man. My, 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 my stepdad, I always had to go get my mama from up there. I remember them Ooh. fights. What did it turn into? It was uh, it was something recently. It turned into the pool palace. Pool palace, yeah. yeah. The it pool palace was silver fox. The pool palace always had that lineage, man. They just changed the name, Flame but it been in the spot. It was my mama them spot before it was our spot. You feel what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. Some things change and some things some stay the things same. Some things stay the same. And I'm glad it stayed around till I came along, though, because it created a legacy. Yeah, oh you know, man! You know, it's like I like to look at the pool pattern like Cadillac Records or something. That, that, hey, the, the Cadillac Records yeah, and strip clubs without the Cadillacs though. Without the Cadillac. <laughs> hey, it was like everybody, man. The you great preaching Yola, now? You franchise boys, Baker mm -hmm. Road Click, mm -hmm. like you know all of these. Night K Rap would do it, do it, do it. He mm -hmm. had all these songs. You like, do it, do it. It was do like it, all it. of these songs from that era. Yeah. Like, yeah. They are the songs like you go to weddings, you go to part of high school graduations, you go to anything. These are the songs that they playing. They're gonna play Little Baby, they're gonna play all of that, but you're gonna get a swag surfing in there. Mm -hmm. That yep. comes from that era. Yeah. You're gonna get, I just don't give a. Come on, that man, because I'm that. all out with it. Man, I was with Yola every day. Yola took me to pimping, and that's how we made the first couple of songs. So, you know, we was all in that little. In that little that little cell together. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, yeah. Yola took me over there to Pippin and Allen Temple, because I ain't know nobody at Allen Temple, but that was that was where they were from. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I went over there and went in the studio and we dropped the money song. And when we came back to the pool palace, it started playing in the pool palace like a regular song. Cause everybody wanted us to see wanted to see somebody do something. So yeah. Get the, man, just when you think you know somebody. Yeah. God damn, bro. That was an error, bro. Believe it or not. This some Ripley's Believe It or Not shit right here. Um, Ripley's, also, another Ripley's Believe It or Not. Now, is it true yeah. that you and Young Dro was roommates? Yeah, yeah. Tell me how does that two talents <laughs> of, oh, I'm talking about major caliber, oh, yeah, we, we, get under one roof before, it, before everything started? I think we had our best battles before we were roommates, though, like... Like, we used to still freestyle and battle each other and stuff like that, but it was like uh, when I used to go to Elther Ridge, like, and see him on the porch, I don't know what it was, but I was just, what's up, you ready today? <laughs> like, it was... <laughs> <laughs> and the, 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 boy, stop! <laughs> Ain't doing that! 
Hey, 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 T-Rex ain't he ain't came hey, to play today. It was uh it was it was just like that though, man. But uh yeah, it was cool, man. You know, I had just got out of prison and stuff, so you Not know, jail, I'm still but prison. institutionalized, drawing with all that, man. Yeah. Like, man, I ain't really do I ain't never understand nothing he said. Like, you know, he got <laughs> I just started understanding the nigga today. <laughs> you take the collard greens and put them with the earned mustard. And I'm like, he ain't never had no earned mustard. Like <laughs> That nigga, boy, he'll invent a name for something, It's boy. sure enough. Yeah, but he been that same lyricist, man, ever since then, bro. I knew, man, Dro is the greatest. I don't care what nobody say, bro. He up there with your Nas's and your Jay-Z's. And, 100%, you bro. Know, you no, one, no 100%. Cap. Like, you know, I always felt like that's where... I grew into the antic set, like, because I had to beat Dro with the lyrics. Like, I had to go, ah, oh, something, you know, to even be seen in those in those same rooms or whatever. It was like, I guess I was trying to be seen, too. And uh, I developed my lyrics being around them, like, you know, everything just started growing. And uh, that's how we got the, got the first situation, man, and we was a group because it just went good together. What was know? the name of the group? Uh, Type for Life Training Camp. And we had Tommy Gun, too. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Tommy Gun. Shout out to Tommy Gun too, man. Uh that boy, y'all want that Anna? Believe, believe, we buckle this shit, nigga. He was the first person I heard like coming with that style right there. He came with that bone thug style. So it was dope. Hey, you know what's wild about that? When, when I even think about the concept, because it's hard to even imagine. You, I, I think of like a down south red and method man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I don't think we was ever like that or whatever. Cool. You know, it, y'all it, both, y'all, y'all both got them type was, of personalities. It was, yeah, it was three of us though. Like it was three of us, so we kind of played good off each other or whatever, you know. And uh, when we started doing the solo song, man. Man, Drew's some of the best songs that Dro had back then. Like, y'all ain't never heard, man. He had this song called Michelle that I used to just play. I remember me and Michelle late nights in the phone calls. And Michelle. Like, that man, he used to be killing it. Like, he way back then, like, he had them songs that just play over and over and over. Like, you know, you be rewinding it. Like, yeah, yeah, been the same. That's amazing, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, once again, I'm I'm thinking about the concept of it. It's hard to do it. Yeah. I can't I can't fathom. I can't fathom it. Yeah. Is it? But but what I I, I want to see it. Yeah. Is it possible that you guys do? Y'all ever talked about doing a like a a, 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 a drawing? Oh, I mean, yeah, we got a lot, man. We I'm talking so about many. today, like man, yeah, we got so many songs though already though that y'all probably ain't never heard. And, uh, you know, I still feel like that's some, that was some of our best work because we was around each other all the time, every mm. day. And uh, But, yeah, man, you know, we see each other all the time. We just ain't had a chance. Joe, you know, he done went through a thing. I done went through a thing. You know, I left the country, you know, for years. <laughs> I, I took off, like, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, if we uh, get that opportunity, it'll be dope, man. That's, man, that's, that's that shit dog. would be unprecedented. Yeah, that's my dog. That shit is crazy. Yeah. I, I can't even imagine two of my favorite niggas getting yeah. together yeah. and putting out a project like yeah, man. That's, it, it, that's, it's almost that, like that some boozy TI type shit. Yeah, it might be, it might be dope. Nah, it is dope. <laughs> no, that's a, dope. We did a song a few I play days. both of y'all every day in the gym. Yeah, we did. I know it don't look like we it. We did hook but back I did. up and uh, <laughs> 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 Barbara! <laughs> <laughs> hey. But we did hook back up and uh, you know, a few years back and uh did this song called How You Do That. It's online. Okay. It's hard. It's hard. No, I gotta put I gotta, gotta add this song my... called Blame It on the Draw. You should check out. Blame it on the draw. Like that song hard. That too. shit hard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, go now, check you, them out. You now you got a you got a chance to go live in one of the places I wanted to end up at. Yeah. That's Japan, bro. Yeah. And then, you know, what's crazy about that, too, even the concept of when you uh, uh, you even told me about it earlier, yeah. is that the, uh, a Fabo belong in, in, <laughs> in Japan. That shit ain't far-fetched at all. Hey, hey. Konnichi, why, motherfucker? Yeah, I mean, uh, it de- I definitely fit in with the culture because of the comedy and uh, the, the, the animation that I, I bring to the table, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, that that's why they gravitated towards me. But, yeah, it's it's a dope place. It's a dope experience. But I, can I tell you something? If you don't mind. The whole time I was over there, boy, I was hungry as hell. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted some neck bones, I tell so bad. Boy. They ain't, they ain't have no Chinese hogs out there, no, right, no nah, Japanese hogs. I don't eat the hog, but you know, I it, it, I ain't have what I needed, you know, to survive. 
like I wanted to. You know, it was great. And they had all your delicacy. You know, you had your steak and all of this stuff there. But just being able to go to the store and get the pack of chicken and just cook your own, bake them in the oven, just, it wasn't that. I had to go get these. But one thing about it, they got so much, though, if you into that. Like, they had the Salisbury steaks and the, all this, these different packaged up foods already. But it just remind me of a TV dinner, you know what I mean? And I couldn't just keep eating TV dinners all. You just want... You want some 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 good collard greens with the bone over in there or something. You know what I mean, Jay? Hey, bro, I think I want that tonight. <laughs> I think I, you, you you fucking me up right now. And hey, you know some macaroni cheese. Too big the, for my chain. Too much cheese on the top. Yeah. Just, too much cheese. Like, yeah. Too, too, stick, too much they, cheese. They come way up here when you just put yeah. it on your forehead. Let's Draws say. don't even fit right no God. more. Duh, wait, hold up, wait. What's <laughs> ah, ah, Barbara! I can't breathe. Yeah. I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. I can't breathe. Hey, I, I went yeah, through it this man. morning. I ain't gonna even I lie. Was, I'm coming from a real place. That's the main thing, though, man, and mm. just being homesick. I, I, you know, I advise anybody to just be prepared to make one of them trips, man. You know, if you say, you, I'm gonna go make this move or whatever, just know you want to make that move, though, because I was, I was back quicker than Flash, boy. It was over. How long, how long you were out there? I went out there a couple of times, though. I've been out there like eight or nine times, so. I What's the longest you, you, you could stand it without your food? Boy... Well, I was back and forth, so it just still was back and forth. Like you know, it when I went just that I had too much business going on. So you, you got you got some kids over in Japan. Boy, though. stop! You ain't doing that. You the, you the, you went up you back you went back over there for that that tight ant the ant pussy over there, huh? Pussy tighter than the ant booty hole over there. Yeah, but I just seen what they did to Flow Rider. What they do to him? But they got Flow Rider good. But he who. Pray for Jesus. You I, know. I miss this. I, I got to look this up after the show. Man, I think Flo, they hit Flo for like 500000 a year. In child support? Boy, I pray for Jesus. Child support? Child support. In Japan? But he do have a disabled child, though, so I, I think that factored into the cave. But that's a lot of money. Now, that is a lot of money, that's bro. That's a lot. A of month? A, nah, 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 a year. It's still a lot of money. But, but hold on, Flo Rida just won a seventy-five million dollar lawsuit hey, with man. that uh with that that company that's connected with Poway. He got it. Yeah, I, me myself, I'm just gonna go on and get it out of the way. Eighteen man. times. I'm going to get it out of the way. I, I think about six. That's not me. Oh yeah, he good. He got he got about sixty million left. Nah, he. I think the the, the baby already like six or something though, ain't it? So it's gonna be like twelve years. God damn. Maybe about six million. Yeah, they, they, Flo Rida making a lot of money. Hey, man, he's still making a lot. Of, he's, he probably already had that in the bag already anyway, though. Bro, he making me feel bad about this little $71 I'm yeah. paying a week for that child support. <laughs> <laughs> he making me feel like I don't love my baby. Hey, man, it's always good to buy an extra pair of shoes here and there. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. Hey, I still got the shoes that I was wearing when I was little. Man. I gave good. my baby that. <laughs> <laughs> Kid be talking to me in other languages. I, mean, I show my mama. I show my mama. Oh my god! I don't god. understand none of that. Got to be more careful. I don't understand nothing you saying. Extradition is a <laughs> motherfucker. I show my mama. I show my mama. Yeah! <laughs> That's it. I should get that put on the t-shirt much as I Ooh. say that. Boy. I show my mama. Five hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money. A year. I show my mama. I gotta call my dog, man. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Hey, they say he he agreed to it and accepted it. So, you know, I remember they had me in that corner like that, too. I was just like, come on, let's get it over with. Let's you got 34 kids, let's though. No, nah, I'll pray for Jesus. Uh-uh. <laughs> you, were, you was before Nick Cannon. Nah, man. That was shouted, man. R.I.P. Shouted low, man. Shouted had a lot of kids, yeah, man. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, man. They all outstanding kids now, too, man. So yes, he they was, yeah. He was a good father. Yeah. But I wish they would have let him do that show. Me too, man. With all the kids and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it family out. Yes, Man, yeah. I don't think it would have been where everybody else thought it was. Like, they felt like it was going to be crazy. But he was cool with all of his baby mama. You know, it might have been a little drama, but I think it was going to, it would have been a good show. But definitely, man. They I remember blocked he... it, though, man. I don't know why they blocked it. Like, I, I, I think They that... weren't ready at the time. Nah, it, that, it, was, it, yeah, was, it was ahead of his time. time. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember he was pitching... Um, when he came to uh, New York, he was pitching some yeah, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was definitely trying to get it out of the ground, man. Yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was a great idea, like, cause I knew him. Yeah. 
And I was like, man, this is going to be the funniest shit y'all ever seen in y'all life. Yes, like, yeah. Like, Shawty is, her, was her, man, R.I.P. Shawty, man. It was hilarious. Like, Wait, where you meet him at, man? Man, man Shawty was always around, like, in the neighborhood. Like, he always, when I got to high school, really, and, uh, you know, I was in the band, I used to see him a lot because I guess he had a spot across the street from where the band was was uh, practicing that, but then uh, I hooked up, up with him again or whatever. I went to uh, uh, ASAP with his sister, and uh, he used to see me all the time on the bus. I was just, I was getting to fighting with the Born Home dudes every time I got out of the bus. Like, we'll pull it, because we stay in Perry Home, so you got to think the bus got stopped in Born Home first, and we ain't never, it ain't never end well. You know, we were fighting all the time, so he already knew me for that. But uh, during the drought in uh, 2002, was when we really clicked up or whatever, you know, he, he started saying me at the pool palace and all that stuff right there. And uh, I just went up there one day, man. We're like, hey, man, let's get it popping. You know, I think I talked to Moot B first. Shout out to Moot B. And uh, I went up there and moved right in the car wash. And we did the first album, the Ride Roll album. And uh, after that, we did the Bet You Can't Do It Like Me. Mm. So, yeah. So, dope. Bet You Can't Do It Like Me, Yeah, that man. was the first song. A lot of people think Laugh Taffy came first, but it was Bet You Can't Do It Like Me. Bet You Can't Do It Like Me was in the street. You had to be here, though. Year. You had to be here to know it. About a year, because mm -hmm. Lowe was locked up and we went not sign the deal. So about a year. So, yeah. Man, bro, I'm talking about you taking me back. I'm talking yeah, about good yeah, old time. Yeah, 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 yeah. It gave a chance. It, by us being out for that year, too, and not having a deal, it gave our rivals a chance to put out one or two songs, you know, in that situation, too, man. And, and nobody ain't know we was like the heroes on the street already. Like everybody was doing the dance already. Like we already had the streets on lock. When you hear that thun -na -na, thun -na, you could be in any club. Like no matter where you were, everybody break down to the dance. Boom. Like at the same time. So I thought it was a dope time. When did you know that this is this setting the world on fire right now? Oh, wow. When did you know? I was in jail. Yeah, you, you were gone at this time. Yeah, I was in jail mm. when it started jumping off. But, uh, and you got to explain that to me. You yeah. got to explain being in jail and blowing up. Because yeah. it's about like, I know about five great ass stories yeah. from five great <laughs> motherfuckers that were locked up when they were on, on at the yeah. same time. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we was, you know, we were going. Well, what does that even feel like? Man, I just, I had never experienced any type of fame before like that, uh, before that. Everybody was giving you their chocolate milks in jail. I, we, I had, we had did uh, the Access Channel. Like we did uh On uh, Star? They did like uh an outdoor thing got in Jonesboro South. Okay. And uh P uh R. I. P. P. We he got them through like this he used to throw these big old concert like type things or whatever out there. Sure enough. And uh we got on that and we did the bitch can't do it like me. Mm. Uh, I went to jail like a little bit after that, so I'm in there maybe about six months. When it's the assets, channel, if you was in Atlanta around that time, you remember Channel 24, Channel 25? Of course. It be playing all day long. They play all day long. No, they ain't have cable. They ain't have BET or none of that. So a lot of houses you went in, they station was on this station all day long. And uh, they was running that, that set back and forth, back and forth. So when I was in jail, all the officers thought, that's you, that's, that's you doing that dance with that green on on that TV show. And I was like, yeah, that's how it was at first. But after a while, I'm like, man, that song all over the radio. They playing your song. I can I get a picture? I'm going to come right here and take a picture with a folk bringing their Polaroids in there to take a picture, you know what I mean, with me while I was in there. And uh, I ain't got out of jail yet. Mind you, I got locked up after the barbecue. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. You, you still had a rib in your mouth and shit yeah, I, with, I the, with, with, with your hands. Yeah, behind my back. Yeah, they had me. They got with the right to remain silent. Yeah, yeah, they got me. And, uh, you know, that was, that was when I knew it was real. But when I got out, uh, you you know Hotel Sharon Hartwick? Hotel? I don't know who you speak. Sharon Sh Sheridan. Sheridan Hartwick. His name, everybody call him Hotel. But he used to work Rico Brooks. I, used, I swear, when I got out of jail, he was in the pool palace with my CDs. And they had Bitch Can't Do It Like Me on it. And me. You weren't mad at it. With one of the first. I didn't know that fool at first, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I was like, let me get a CD. And he ain't nobody seen me yet. I'm just popping oh, up. Oh, they, they don't even know it's you. But yeah, yeah. He didn't even know me. Like he, he they, it was a whole, you know, situation when I got out. It was, it was, it was popping. And uh, I guess he would they point man the, the street team and all of that, you know. Gotcha. And I walked up on him in the club or whatever, and he ain't know who I was. He's like, you can't have that one of these CDs. <laughs> these CDs for sale. And uh, we hired him after that. 
you know, because he put up so much a fight with me about, about that your shit that I hired, that, like we hired him on to the group. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was our road manager after that. And he always did a good job too. You know, you want somebody going to bat for you like that. Yeah, that like, nigga was protecting you before you I, even. But he even... turned around and I got on that, got on, on stage and they seen me do the dance for the first time, like you know, in person. Everybody was getting a chance to see because I, I had been gone and everybody been doing their version of it from what they seen on the TV show. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, it was a beautiful feeling, man, to just see the whole entire club because the song was at the height, and it's just. Da, da, da. They just everybody in the club brought a tear to my eye. Bro. I just I, I had some in my eye. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know how that feels. Hey, let me ask you this question. Yeah. It's funny that you even bring that up right there. So yeah. song going off. It's it's um it's goddamn changing the city. Yeah. Getting ready to yeah. change the world. Yeah. Or are you, you 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 most people be in jail, they up here doing push-ups. Yeah. Was you in there goddamn perfecting the dance and, and while you were locked I up? I mean, I I always been a dancer, period, though. Like just you, you, and you gotta man. elaborate on that, man, because I, I ain't never heard you talk yeah, about that. I always been a dancer. Like I was always just the character. Like no matter what, when I was in the group. With Joe them like it was just still the character like you expected me to be to do the antics I was always getting into it with the promoters getting into it with this you know I'm the you know I was that type of person or whatever so yeah when I was locked up or whatever I'm I was perfecting my craft when I got out man I had all a lot of them songs that you hear on the D4 album I already wrote ready to go and stuff like that but we came up with the Laffy Taffy and that was what sent it over the top but we went through a little down period where we had to go against the counterpart because they a couple of groups had them popped up and started doing the dance in their videos and saying they made it up because they thought we was going to be local. Nobody thought we was going to jump off, jump off. You thought that that was it. We had them fizzled out. And so everybody trying to run with it. I remember looking up uh, at the video and I seen the Yin Yang Twins video. Hey, look, my munch was spinning. They was doing it in their video. And I was like... Damn, that's dope. I thought it was the dopest thing in the world, but when I got up on them, they didn't even know who I was or none of that or whatever. And I started talking. They, we all still friends right to this day, but you know, I, I, wanted, great, to, yeah, I wanted to know, you know, why y'all, you know, do it. And I ain't understand the business just then. When you taking off everybody that 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 want to see you make it, everybody that you know want to copy you, is regardless of what, you gonna start seeing yourself in the industry, you know, immediately. Like you gonna start seeing stuff that you got. Or that you do, or that you say immediately, like because people they they jocking you. So yeah, we 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 ain't understand at the time, but you know, looking back at it, but it was our wow. Uh, now they call that influential. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they they get. I, man, I won like three trendsetter of the year awards, like back to back, like you know. So I I, I started realizing early on why everybody was wearing the dickies and the long socks and the white shades and you know all of that. I, I learned that early on, but it was dope though. It was a dope experience. Wow. Yeah. Now that's crazy, bro. Yeah. They that's... thought we were going to be some local jokers. I know it. Yeah. Hey, I let me and tell I you what I knew it was going to be. I won. I won. I sold more albums than all of them put together. You put all their projects together. Goddamn. You, you, you going to flex on them like that, bro? And I, you going to flex I, on them like I got that? one song that I sold that, and then we went on one hit wonders because God, our that, next song was damn. That You Can't Do It Like Me. It went gold, too. Damn. And everybody was doing the dance, so it wasn't a one hit wonder mm. situation. Then I came back with it tatted up, and I damn. jumped on the Cupid shuffle, and so I won, sucker. Damn. Big flat, pop my shit. Hey, bro, let me tell you something. When, when I knew this shit was big, big. Yeah. I think I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chris Rock movie. Yeah, the movie, yeah. I remember that. When Chris Rock then was doing it in that movie, yeah, and it was yeah. just a passive yeah. little thing. Yeah. He started talking about being the old nigga in the club doing the young I'm nigga shit. I'm telling you shit. why I ain't like to see that, though. You know, it was funny. But when they did that shit on that Atlanta movie, the TV show, uh, 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 what the name? David Atlanta. Glover, with Donna Glover, with Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, boy, they had the white supremacists up in there, and they were doing the laughing taffy butt neck. And I was like, oh man, they they had to be a hit job. Somebody had to be trying to knock us out with that move, right? Hey, 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 bro. It was funny as hell. I ain't gonna care. I was laughing my ass out, but I was mad as hell. I was mad as hell. But the shit was so funny, I was just laughing. I couldn't help but laugh at it because it was funny. Hey. Dog, you did cultural shit, man. Hey, man, the shit was dope and, and shitty at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. If that hey. could be a possibility.
<laughs> Come on, man. Hey, bro, you you said you said you said the world on fire with that one right yeah, there, man. man I, it did. The shit was it was it, it was bigger than us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. It was some shit that was bigger Big than fact. us. Yeah, man. We went straight to the, the the big stations. Like, if that's the word I'm gonna use, go for it. We went straight to the big stations. Like, we bypassed all the urban stations. A lot of urban stations wouldn't play it. I remember getting to the city one time, and they was like, uh, "You can't go to this station. You got to go to this station first. Dude, locks the limo doors. Lock us in the car. Like, y'all can't go to the station. Like, we was gonna kick the windows out. We back there. Like, what the hell? I'm talking about. It was a, a move. Like, dude. Like y'all. And that, that's when I knew it was big. Like, these people play for real. Like, they had them brought us out to this great big old club. They got the big radio station promoting it. And we was like, well, we got to go over here to this little 94.5 station that's over here. You know, they paid us to come to this after party. He's like, I don't give a sh You know, you got this white dude with the slick back hair. I don't care who paid you. You're going to this club and this club only. And uh, you're doing that. Only. Like, Man, they, and we was like, nigga, who you think you're talking to? Like, blah, 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 blah. And the them locked the door on us. Like, <laughs> like what? They locked the door, boy. I ain't give a fuck about imagine, none of that bank shit. Imagine being somewhere in the desert, yeah. talking shit to somebody, and they locked the door. Talking that bank head shit, too. You thinking, man, these folks, we super They don't dope. know you hard, too, you at the same time. Man, it's hard to have nothing to do with it. It was no way out the car but kicking the windows out. Yeah. And, boy, he opened the door right while we were kicking on them. <laughs> like, they were cold. They were finna go. <laughs> like, it was over with. Like, hey, but they were dead serious. But that's when I knew that it was serious, like, being number one. Like, people like to show that off. Like they want, they want to make sure you honor your obligation. If they spend the big money when you turn number one, you and we ain't understand that though. Like we still on that, the club owner better be on point, you know, cause we on point type of mentality. But they played a smarter game. But they limo drive was in on it. Like <laughs> said, you got everybody in on it. You thinking you by yourself? You he by himself? Well, he got the limo driver, two security guard, this person, that person. And when we got to the club that night, we was still kind of hot. I remember. We were still kind of hot. When we get to the club, they got the different security guard. They got suits on with it, wires coming out their ear and stuff. We just didn't say nothing for the rest. You know, we ain't say nothing to them. <laughs> we knew it was a different level. Yeah, you, you just, know. you you ate that and adjusted. You see somebody with a cord coming from their ear. It's presidential. See their back and all this stuff right here. Yeah. This is a different type of club yeah. that you in. So you don't go to talking about somebody lock you in the limo. Cause you might be locked somewhere else. You Show know now. what I mean? Show now. That's the way it look. You mm -hmm. feel me? Toto, we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> hey, for real. But you know, I slapped somebody on the back of the head that night. I don't know if he knew what it was for. Just to make myself feel good. What's up, boy? <laughs> Thought it, it, there's some black stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that was for locking me in that limo. <laughs> hey, 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 this is what everybody want to know, though, man. Yeah. I uh, man, Doc, did you get the Laffy Taffy deal or not? Nah, From nah, Laffy Taffy. No, nah, man. Laffy, Laffy Taffy. Taffy ain't never reached out. Man, Laffy Taffy was never in the equation. Laffy Taffy, hold on. Do you, hold, do you know how many Laffy <laughs> Taffy's you didn't sold yeah, off that Laffy they, Taffy? They were such a major corporation that had been around for so many years or whatever. It's like, you know, it's, it's like, uh, 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 what you call the people that's in the, the towers doing the aircraft shit, sh uh, screaming up at a UFO? It's just, you ain't going to, you know, it, they they, 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 they there like they didn't give a fuck. They was already there. Like they, yeah. And uh, I tell you who did come, though, uh, New Edition people, you know, for the Candy Girl sample. They came. <laughs> <laughs> they came. Laffy Taffy never came, but they came for that candy girl. Candy girl! I, I'm like, man, I don't know. I literally said it exactly like the dude. But I was like, dude, that was like when I was two years old. Like, I ain't listen, know nothing about it. Like, he was like, nah. But uh, I ain't know I said it exactly like him. Like, exactly like him. Like Ralph. Like, in the song. Like, I ain't. You I, did it just like Mr. Trust, man. me hear it, I, I was shocked myself. I was Ralph drunk. came for you. Not, not him. They ain't own the song. <laughs> Maurice Starr came for Pray you. Pray for Jesus. God damn. Big old dude, too. I remember when uh, we stood up to get the ASCAP Writer of the Year Award. This big old dude stood up. I was like, where you going? They Maurice call, Starr. They just called me. <laughs> I, know, I know I'm the only person in the studio when this song wrote. Holy like, <laughs> shit. He stood up beside me going to get the award. I'm looking at him like, where you going? He's my, I said, they just called me. For some reason, he was on the same row. I guess they put us on the same row. 
He told me, yeah, sorry, Mr. Star, I'm going up right now. I was like, you the one that said I stole, I ain't steal your <laughs> Candy from Escape was sitting right here right in the day. I just remember Candy saying, baby, just chill out, baby. Not right here. <laughs> nah, like, we out in California at the Kodak Theater. Everybody got on suits. I'm like, I ain't stole nothing for you. <laughs> I, was like, I knew I was in the studio by myself. Like, dude, ain't look nothing. With no internet, no nothing involved, bro. I just did this song. He's like, yes. Well, I was like, you lying. You lying. And I'm telling all these people tonight, you lying. <laughs> <laughs> you you got your little Richard on that night. No, but I mean, as I grew, I learned. But you got to think, this stuff happening so fast, like, boom. I'm just getting out of jail, and I see all these people taking credit for something. I know you went in the studio, but I ain't know what the business was. Like, I ain't know how, when they hit me for the sample money or whatever, it entitled him to the rights on the album, too, which gave him credit, right, right of credit. Hey, bro, so when you, I won, you, you put me on right now. Yeah, when I won writer writer of the year, if, songwriter of the year, he won songwriter of the year. But I was in the studio by myself, <laughs> so that's why I jumped up. But he was big. I know we were gonna go rumble rumble right there, but you know I, I probably like two twenty back then though. I'm probably like two oh six now, but I was about two twenty. I, I would gave him a run, but he probably would knock me out. Bruh, you put me on yeah, right now. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. They come. Uh, the, the business is the business. Man, I, I was expecting Bobby Brown to come from there like, wait, I got to get something off of that. Uh, and damn. I thought we were going to be able to, I thought we were going to be able to work something out. You know? I was going to go in my pocket like, boy, I got something for you right here, boy. Hey, can, <laughs> can I ask you something personal? Like, what about this song? Yeah. All right. At the height of when y'all doing this, you know, like, I, I done booked for niggas before yeah. and whatnot. Like, at the height of when y'all doing it, and they, they just for just for that one song. Yeah. How much was y'all booking for back um, in? It wasn't what it is now. I mean, we, I think the highest bookings we was getting back then, 25000 somewhere that's in that 30000 That's like the most we was getting that's back crazy. then. You know, but that How was many huge. times a month you doing that? Like five, four or five. Something like that, four or five. Really? Ooh. Yeah. So, but we're doing like sixty shows. So, damn. You know. Dang. I remember do you getting remember the thing first? one day it had sixty shows on. I'm like, I ain't gonna never go back home. I don't <laughs> never want to rap no more. I don't want to go. I got enough money. They just gave me hundred and fifty thousand. They just gave me hundred and fifty thousand. I called my mom on the phone and I was crying. She to my baby, I ain't gonna never see you no more. We crying together. Oh, no. Now I'm just playing, but yeah, man. I mean, it was it was like that. Wow. Do you do you, you remember the first the the first wildest thing you bought? Oh, I'm I'm I've never been an extravagant guy. Like no kind of way. I you know I messed up all that money in the beginning and paid all the IRS and everybody, and then I, I ain't never made no more. Hold on. I've been, I've been, work, I've been working at Uber. Like I do Uber Eats, DoorDash. I don't got no money. Then boy, you a fool. I ain't got no money. Boy, you a fool. I, 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 you need help with your grocery man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting six dollar here, five dollar there. Now, I ain't, I ain't did a show in whew, been so long. Oh I man. Don't know if I can still rap. <laughs> oh man. So with that being said, <laughs> you, what will you tell? Rappers that got that hot white light song out right now. What's the what's the advice that you give? Oh uh, man, I well, that's got a hot song out right now. There's a hot song. But what, what type you, of advice is it? Financial advice is let, it? Let's life go, advice is it? Girl advice? All of the above. All shit, of the above. Let's do that let's go fi financial advice do first. Do that shit, man. Do that shit. Live it to the motherfucking fullest. I ain't gonna tell you because I did it. He did it. He did it. We all did it, you know. Just be conservative to a certain extent, but what, do that shit. What does that mean, conservative? I'll do that. Just do it. I don't give a... You want it? Buy it. You live it. Don't let nobody tell you shit. Don't... Okay. That, don't, That's your money. Because I did it. That's right. He did it. Yeah. He did it. It's Everybody my prerogative. Everybody try to tell you once they fuck up all their money. Go fuck up your hood, too, for a while, you know. <laughs> Shaq went and fucked it all up, and look what he on now. So, you know, do it. Do it. Do, have fun. Like, you got, they just gave you a million dollars to go spend that shit, nigga. Just work just as hard for the next million as you did for that one, because your ass gonna be broke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Uh, <coughs> female advice. Female? Yes. 
<laughs> Man, these hoes for the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her eat in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like, though. Pray for Jesus. That's that what I Don't like. Don't strike me down, God. Don't strike me down. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, let's talk about friends. How many of us have them? Yeah, I mean, the same dude that you rock with from the beginning, they're going to be the same dude rocking with you in the end. But just remember, everybody can't go. So you get to pick. You know what I mean? But choose wisely. Because some of the niggas that you leave behind could have been the niggas that could have put you where you're supposed to be. You know what I mean? So uh, sometimes it's just about guiding your friends. If this nigga don't got nothing to do, he the cameraman. If this nigga don't got nothing to do, he's six foot eight, he the security. Mm -hmm. If this nigga ain't got nothing to do, you got to put these niggas to work. But if you letting them just stand around you all day long and not do a damn thing, then when you do decide to let these dudes go, they're going to be the niggas online to my, he ain't do shit for a nigga, man. You still got them, you know what I mean? So... You know, just watch how you treat niggas, man. But I say the same nigga that you rock with from the beginning, them same nigga that you got to rock with in the end. And, and sometimes your family ain't always going to be them. Wow. Yeah. Like, you, you, family ain't going to always be them niggas that stand around you. Some of the niggas that's around you might have been your next door neighbor or your high school homeboy or whatever. But you got to learn how to guide the ones that you know got that potential. So, you know, you got the wrong one. You got little cuckoo up in this motherfucker. You know he got there just always looking for somebody to cut a break in. You try to turn him into the cameraman. Cuckoo, when you taking the picture? All right, all right, I got you. I got you. When y'all need to be picture now? Y'all need picture, picture now? Hey, hold it right here, man. Boom, you get in your car. You sitting on other people's shit. Where the hell all this shit come from? Mm -hmm. Cuckoo mm -hmm. around with you. So you know you got to make sure. You feel what I'm saying? Them real life situations too, cause we all in that, I'm from the spot, spot. So all your homeboys, I'm like 60% of my homeboys had to get the pep talk, <laughs> you know. What's the talk? Boy, I ain't seen you in a while. Boy, what you doing? Ah! How your mama doing? Boy, you stay in the car when we get over here. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> You had to give them the pep talk. See, everybody don't get their home by the pep talk when they get out the car, and then you get, man, bing a ling doom, 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 ba 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 ba, and don't nobody know what the fuck going on, but you, you know that he was gonna do that. Cause every time you take him somewhere, bow bow, boom, doom, 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 doom. So why you bring him over here with these nine people having fun and not get him the pep talk? This nigga at a dog uh, show barbecue. And he done started a fight. Like, it's like the most gentlest place. And the, the most you see an owner do is yanking the dog with the chain. That's the most, the most violence you're going to see at this place. And this dude done shot it up, you know. Holy shit. I don't even know what tartars are. Oh, my God. I see. Now, now you bring me to another uh, good point. Let's talk about um, expanding your horizons on the way up. What's uh, some shit you got turned on to? <clears throat> and whatnot that you uh, you ain't even never thought about before you blew up. Wow, wow. Expanding your horizons. Man, Some I don't shit know, you got man. a chance to that experience. That might be a different question for somebody else because before I blew up, I was around shot at Low. And Low was already that nigga. Like anything the industry showed me afterwards, I had already seen with Low. I was around Low for a couple of years, so. He had already, I'm mean, caviar, anything. I was, was just about to ask, that's yeah, what I was going like, to ask you. Was, was, already, was you eating caviar? Yeah, Lowe was already, man, man, we're riding around listening to Jay Z Blueprint album. Like, he just was all into everything. Like, you know, so, I mean, it's like that, though. When you get, when you get something, when you get that first big check, you ain't going to know what to do. But sooner or later, you and your girl going to be still in drink menu because y'all buying all the shit at the house you know, that you can make drinks with because you tired of drinking Remy, you tired of drinking Cavassier, you tired of drinking Henny. You see what I'm you, saying? You're talking to me right now. Yeah, so you you're talking know, to me right now. Y'all gonna start stealing drink menus, yeah. like all that, man. It's gonna come to you, bro. Like, it's, it's, it depends on what you like. Like, mm -hmm. what you like, what you like to do. You wanna be tired the fuck up and beat with the mask on and all of that with a whip, then you're gonna expand your room. You're gonna get one in the room with <laughs> chains hanging everywhere. And you're gonna, you might hire somebody to, to be at your house every day when you come in. <laughs> Bitch ass over here. You know, I don't know where the nigga like. So what's in his heart? What's hey, it? me, myself, mm. you know, if I was expanding my horizon, not saying I did this, but I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, when the money could come or something, if I ever had some money in life, 
I would have, you know, hooks and stuff hanging in front of the ceiling, and I hook myself up and <laughs> then swing around the rooms a couple of times a day from the back, from my arms, and, you know, that's just me, you know, and just, I'm pain freak, so. Show sure enough, show sure yeah. enough, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, uh, let's talk about Starstruck. When you when you when you first got in the game, who you was starstruck to know that knew you? Like, man, get the fuck! I, oh. You talking to me? <laughs> Are you talking? You talking to me? Yeah. You know who I am? Yeah. No, I, I think it was Chris Brown. I think it was Chris Brown. No, but no, for real though. Yeah, my no, little real. sister wanted to meet Chris Brown, and uh, we was in the back of a concert. And I already knew him from coming up on the circuit. You know, we had did, been in the Bahamas together, a couple more places together, doing these, you know, when they showed the label show off, they knew artists and stuff like that. They do these big old conventions. You've got all these artists out there. And I met him at a couple of these things. But we was in the back of the show. He had them blew all the way up by this time. He was like, you know, he was who he was, messing with Rihanna and all of these things right here. And uh, we was behind backstage at one of these shows, and I, I kind of got the nerve to build up to go over there. Like, man, my little sister... Want to take a picture with you, you know? And he was like, Fabo, boy, what's up, boy? I ain't seen you in a while, boy. And came across the parking lot and with a lot of energy and shit. And I was like, Prince Jesus, you, you know who I am? Like, you know, you remember me? And uh, yeah, I think that was that was a wild moment, you know, because I had already met her. I'm from Atlanta. Like, you see stars every day. Like, I used to be hanging out with Andre Rise and then them. Bro, this is the second time. Not, not, this is the second time. Not, not, first episode, we talked about it. We, not, we talked about not it. Not physically. We talked about Andre Rising. First episode. hanging out with Andre Rising like that, though, but, you know. I now, had, this is big had, for the show right now. In, I had been in the circles and been around yeah. just that glamorous lifestyle. To where you know you've been in the office buildings and all of this yeah. stuff, and you've been around people yeah. that's already had it. Like I, I remember going over to run from one twelve house. You, yeah, that's my nigga. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to make some music. Wow. I'm thinking I'm going to a regular studio. I get up there, man. This nigga stay in the big neighborhood. He got this great big old house and all of that or whatever. And dude, really talented. He just sat down at the piano and started playing. <laughs> and I might have just wrote like 30 songs right there just because you with somebody who you in tune with. Like, and he already got it. Like he and he's still passionate about it. Like, like Yes, he is. You know, you have to run into these type of people to guide you, you know, in your career. Like, so when I seen a lot of stuff, it didn't impress me, you know, because I had already been around. It like you know, definitely been around it. I, I was going over cool to see how seeing the yin yang twins for the first time. We all sitting in that nappy head as hell, and cool to see in there doing the beats, and they end up doing twill lily like they playing around with it. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So, I just that just being in a lot of different rooms at a lot of different times, man, was dope. And it's funny that we this is um, this that was the intro to this question right yeah, here. Yeah, you're a cultural icon. I got a lot of work to do. You don't know, my, my man, the, the biggest rapper in the world right now. <laughs> Snapping like you favor. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was bruh, awesome. bruh, bruh. Yeah. But, but this is what I want you to know. Yeah. Is you were doing it like that before that and whatnot. People saw you in that light before that. Yeah. You were that, you, that guy. Like, even when you were locked up. Yeah, when I came home, my name was in a song on the radio. Where's happening there? Where's happening there? Fable show me the central movies. I was like, I don't even know this nigga. And then I met him. I was like, oh, that Lamar from back here. He, I did show it to him. Like, <laughs> 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 like <laughs> Lamar, not from D4L, but from Bank. Yeah, I hadn't heard the song. I ain't know who he was and that. It didn't take you long to be legendary, bro. Man, that's just, it's fun, bro, just knowing that, you know, there's a lot of people going through the same thing I'm going through. And uh, I could just tap into that mindset, you know, sure with these songs. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm doing the same shit that he doing every day, you know, and that's, that's, that's dope. When, when you heard when you first heard Drake do that, yeah, like like I remember I'm I'm, I'm in I'm in New York, yeah, and mind you I'm over here putting on for Atlanta, yeah, I'm, I, like like niggas didn't already did it before, but that was my thing up there, yeah. just letting niggas know that I'm from the A, <laughs> and I'm up here working with one of the kings of New York, yeah, and whatnot, but I'm I'm representing the yeah, A. Good job, boy. You had a good job for a long time. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, The yes. only one in that spotlight. Nobody else wasn't doing that, what you was doing at the time either. Just, 
Say, not say, scared to tell the news. Say, say that. Yeah. Not, say that. Yeah, people, I had them about it. Like, you, you, but if you say groundbreaking, you is one of the dudes that started this Bruh, podcast. Bro, I don't get that. I don't like, get no, yeah. I deserve I remember, a golden globe. Because y'all was basically doing what everybody do in the podcast right now. Now, I you sitting here. I started that oh, shit. Boy, sitting there. I'm their daddy. I'm talking about all the news of the I'm their daddy. You talking cash shit about everybody and niggas online. Getting in rap beefs and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, like, you was already about to get beat up by five different people. Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember, like, I, I, I was like, man, Jack, I know you ain't about all that. He on TV yeah. tonight. When I see him, he know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I say the same thing too, though. Ain't nobody gonna talk ah, me. I'm with 50 know. Cent, nigga. Like, what the <laughs> fuck, nigga? Yeah, nigga. G -g 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 hey, on it, nigga. Hey, but hey, he yeah. made it work, though, man. But yes, I, think, I did. I think that pressure was the reason why you started doing so many other things because it wasn't time for that yet. Nah, you no, see no, what I'm saying? no. No, actually, what you, 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 yeah. you you're saying it right, yeah. but it was in reverse. Yeah. I did that time was over. Yeah. Now nah, I, mean, I was yeah. coming like the dude. Well, you was on the now I'm talking about far as like right now, everybody doing what you Oh doing. yeah. They, they, like, that every, part. That I'll part. Talk about you and be standing at a party. Yes, that with part. You nowadays. Yes. Like, you know who these bloggers is and yes. you, you had the big parties. They out on the, the Yeah, right by my by now. myself too. I was I was there by myself. If you say something about me and I see you on the red carpet. You know, that I, I'm i telling you, we all heard it who with me. You feel what I'm saying? So just know that I can be the coolest person in the world, but I can't stop that person right there. So when it did, nowadays, they right here. Like, you know he you just get cute said, now. talked about your babies, yep. your kids. You, it, yeah. it won't fly now. Yeah, that's, it's, it's, yeah. it's a crazy place. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had I had I had came behind like I said Fifty Cent and yeah. when you do the, the street law was um like unprecedented so I had I had a license to do it Man, in some, said, I had a license I had a license <laughs> I'm talking about some of the hardest niggas wanted to bust he didn't my wait. ass he didn't wait whatever they said you did but Jack I did it <laughs> I did that shit. And, 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 and I, wa I wasn't scared at the time. Hey. <laughs> hey. Man, I'm looking at the TV Jack going, man, whatever they want to do, we can do it. We can hey. do it. I ain't never I'm ready to die for this <laughs> shit tonight. <laughs> I can see him soon the thing go, hey, can you call him on yeah, the phone uh, to tell him? If you I don't mind. A drink. If you don't mind. Yeah. Do you have any more great poop on? <laughs> but hey, man, I feel like. You know, when you got the industry in that corner like that, yeah. you got to keep putting them hands on them. Like, yeah, yeah. When you get them up against the ring road. Hey, like, listen. Let me say this. Yeah. I had no problem with fighting you. Yeah. But yeah. I didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, I, I believe I can Stop. die. You ain't doing that. I believe I can die. <laughs> I believe I can die. Them boy hot though, boy. They were hot. Bruh, I, I know I could have died. They were hot, boy. But, but I was like, hey man, I, I gotta roll the dice. But this Joe Button, who else? Academics, uh, say cheese. All of them. It's yeah. a lot of them out there, you know, that yeah. now. Yeah. They they making millions. Yeah, they, millions. They putting it down like I, I didn't understand the business back then. Um and me and Adam 22 was talking about it. It was like, man, bro, you was just before your time. Yeah, yeah. You were weird. I, I didn't get it. Because Adam is basically doing the same thing you was doing. He was doing the same, same, exact same thing. Same layout. That's what I'm saying. You was on all, all of them layout. are. You all got of your them. I'm playing, I'm playing catch up yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing catch up now. I'm trying to get it right. Trying but you to go. just started, though. But every time you start up, though, it's always a, you know, it's always a process. So don't worry about it. It's, it, it's, it's going to fall right into place. I'm glad you had me on. So I can talk shit, it, you know. Uh, will you come Emma, back with who stole my shoes, and Jim, fuck you. Okay. Got them, uh, okay. Whoever broke in my locker at the gun club swimming pool, I hope you got them dog die tonight. Got them. I just want to say that I ain't never said this. Do it. You this is the place to do it. You this is the place to do it. Damn teacher that said I, uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> just to play, get it off your chest, man. Get it off your chest. <laughs> and I'm for real about you, Elmer. Elma, <laughs> when the last time you met a motherfucker named That nigga named grandmama Elma? named him. Come on, man. Nigga, nigga sound like some glue. Come on, like, man. <laughs> Come on, man. 
And, 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 and uh, yo, did you, not, not to, to get away, because like I said, <laughs> did you ever get a chance to meet Drake? Man, uh, I, I haven't met Drake in person, but uh, I had a chance to meet Chubbs and, you know, a lot of the other, you know, some members of the crew, and we hung out, uh, CIA Wireless, or right before I did the Tusa Slide record. Oh, wow. You know, and uh, I hooked up with Vintage Tunes, and uh, we put together the Tusa Slide record, and it got added to iHeartRadio, so they never stopped it. They never you know, cut it off, it, it ended up on the radio and in all of these places. So, you know, somebody had to push it. So I would like to think that, you know, the interactions I did have with some, you know, they thought I was good people. 100%. You know, yeah. and you, you got I'm, way I'm, more I'm going to run into them one day, man. You know, I definitely appreciate the shout-outs and everything. I seen him with the spaceships on Bankhead shirt on on his, on his, on his page and all of that, you know. Amazing and, story. Uh, yeah, we done had some back and forth, but, you know, I ain't met him personally. Yeah. Amazing story. Uh, yeah. Can you, Can you tell us about that record. Yeah. Spaceships one? on Bankhead. Oh, Spaceships on Bankhead. <laughs> Tell them how that shit came about. Oh. Uh, when I, I heard the story one time. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was blown away. I didn't know it was that complex. No, nah, man. The Spaceships on Bankhead were actually. I didn't know it wasn't supposed to happen. A, a, actually, you know, it, it it was a slower version first. And everybody be geeked up. And they be sitting around. And I just had said it on the song. And you had all these people, they was playing Gucci, they was playing Jeezy, they was that, that, it was that time right there. You know, T.I. was killing them around in that time. Bone Crusher, all of that stuff was out. Lil Jon, you know, everybody was out. And I had made this slow version of that song called, I'm geeked up, I can't make it on my own. That's all I said. Mm. And I wish these haters leave me alone. And I had it running through a whole, like, little, little thing. I think I did something for Young Money. I don't know if you remember the song I did for them. That Why Me Move Two Step, Why Me Move Yes. Two. I had did that beat for them that night, that doom, doom. You know, everybody was jamming to that. That song was on that CD. So every time they gave away one of them CDs with the two-step on it, it had to get up on there or whatever. So everybody walking up to me to my, man, they get that song hard. But it went the song, it's just me sitting there singing the, that little end part that you hear. And so it let me know people wanted to hear more of that. And uh, my homeboy passed away, and I came to the studio. I ain't had no, nothing to drop no song on or nothing like that. So I pulled the MPC out, the MPC 3000. And whatever songs that was already in, in the MPC 3000, which was like one bass and the t t t I made the geeked up off of that. Like the doom, that's why I ain't got no clap in it. It's got that doom, 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 woom. That, that was my clap, because I ain't have a clap. And then I just brought the verse and I'm geeked, t -t 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 -t, I can't see, like with the, with the hi-hat, and made the whole song. So yeah, it was dope. Now the process of getting it actually in yeah. rotation. Nah, that wasn't gonna happen. Everybody knew where, from where we were from, knew where Geeked Up meant. Yeah, that, so, that's what I'm saying. All like, my I'm, people's on crack, yeah, crack. Yeah. So everybody uh, quickly assumed it, it yeah. was a crack song or something. But nah, but I had to tell them, like, we, we're a different era. Like, you know, everybody from our era on the pills, and, you know, they was just really in, they ain't know nothing about the X pills. They ain't know how they had to hit the streets. Like, it was the, it was the epidemic. You feel what I'm saying? That by this point, and, uh, you know, everybody I knew was walking around with a 10 pack or something. Like, I ain't never see nobody who ain't have a 10 pack on them, like Superstar or not, like whichever one it was. And they didn't know anything about the new craze. They was like, no, nah, this Pookie song. I'm like, nigga, I'm. Not Pookie, I'm sitting here with bricks and this, that, like, <laughs> we look at these cars and this jury, like, do we look like Pookie? Like, and people was like, nah, that's crack song. So they kept turning it off. I did the big shows, uh, the jingle jams and stuff like that. They turned the song off while I'm in the middle of performing. But I think that just blew it up more, though, in Atlanta. And I ain't never do a video to the song. Or nothing really? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the, they used to turn the song they off. They used to turn the song off. The label would not do a video. Like, they wouldn't, because it was just like, they didn't know like it was too divisive. I knew what was coming. Okay. All my friends was taking pills and and, and you knew that I was on the ride. I knew the music was about to change, and I was like, "That's why I ain't never do another Laffy Taffy type song." Like, cause I it, I knew that it was finna go to something totally different. different. Like yeah. in in a year's time, the music totally changed. Like. Mm. Just it just flipped over. You ain't hear no more of those songs, mm. you know. And that's how you got your Soldier Boys and the other stuff. It had to be a little bit more. Yeah, like it was going to somewhere totally different over there. But over here, you had your young thugs and these guys coming. Like they was coming, you know. They that music was just catching up. Like boom, and then you got you know Young Thug and then everybody behind him. So I knew it was about to change. And I think with that, Rich Homie Quan. 
I think uh, the the Yolas, the K Rabs with the she fine, she sexy, she cool, she's a Georgia peach, and she like to get the music was changing. Like it was about to go somewhere totally different because of these pills. Like I knew it. Hey, bro, it's funny that you say that. Um, cause I remember at the time when I heard geeked up, yeah. I thought it was the new way to say crumb. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm nigga, I used to be inside my my turquoise Chrysler little Baron. Yeah, with a top down yeah, on that motherfucker. Yeah. Nah, nah, you, the light. Always, you way off. You you was way off. I was, you, I was, I was, boy, stop! I was I was out of line. You ain't doing that. I was out of line. You way off. You yeah, it was wrong, wrong car. Man, I mean, uh, but even even for the food that the first food, and I will say food that sat down at his desk and decided to write an article and said this is called snap. I'm like, what the fuck did you think of? Like, what was you thinking? Like, like you named the whole era just, I don't know whether you were just being funny or what, but you could have asked somebody and they all would have said it's geek music. Like, you hear Pee Wee Longway, you're sneaking and geeking and sneaking here, future. And geeking on every song. And now the word is in literally every song made the way that, you know, it was intended to be interpreted. You changed geek because, like, back back in yeah, the day, back in the day it been, it been, geek been was excited. screech from yeah. goddamn it, 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 Saved it, by the Bell. Yeah, yeah, nah, but I'm. It was like, yeah, geek. It, geek meant a nerd, uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, but in the hood, we all knew geek and meant, you know, your uncle or somebody smoking crack, uh, something like that. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, I was like, I'm buying more ounces of weed than my uncle could ever think about paying five dollars for a crack. Mm. I'm. Drink with your five dollars. I'm drinking, but back then, ten dollar, five dollar, you know, whatever. I didn't know that. But (laughs) pray for Jesus. Don't be trying to find out the prices and stuff either. That stuff old. Don't don't go backwards. Yeah, go forward. (laughs) Don't you buy no ugly truck? Yeah, they got that blow up out that now, but you don't want it. Yeah, yes sir. To my boy, yeah, (laughs) yeah. You stealing TVs and stuff. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) with the ass on it. Not not even not even flat screen. Yeah, not even flat. I'm talking about the one with the big ass back on that bed. But we we felt like you know we were doing way more than that. So it just turned into like a term endearment for us too, I guess. Like, you know, I'm geeked up. So when we smoke a blunt, like I'm geeked up. Like, boy, you sitting there looking at it, you don't smoke two blunts. Like, well, I'm geeked up. It just became a, a, a part of our conversation too. And so everybody knowing that, I just brought it to the light. Like you already knew if you were where I'm from what the word geeked up meant. And so everybody who worked for the radio stations, they knew it too. <laughs> like, it's like, we ain't playing that. Hell no. Nah. We ain't playing. I'm like, you the only one know what it mean. I like, yeah, but in every other neighborhood, they know what it mean too. I'm like, yeah, so that's why I'm saying it. And uh, and how I intended for it to be interpreted, that's how they eventually interpreted it. Like, so that was dope. When did it break though? When 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 you yeah. feel like the floodgates had them broke open? Oh, then- I mean when Jesus sent that song. <laughs> like, nigga, hold I, on, so Jeezy broke it. Like, I I felt like it was it was in the street and it was bunking. But we were so big with the Laffy Taffy, like, I'm not thinking geeked up as, you know, that we was, like, you got to think of the levels, like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not thinking this song that's number seven on the album that I did by myself, like, people, you know, gravitating toward it, you, you see what I'm saying? And I came home one day, and I'm in the club, and they played it on their own, like, and I'm like, what the hell, and the whole club starts saying the words to it, like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like this, you know, you had that one of them moments. But then when Jeezy sent the song, it was like, Fay Boy, I got you, nigga. You don't owe me nothing for this one. Remix. And I that that's when I knew it had spread, you know, and I had to start paying attention to it. Yeah. And every city, every Oakland, Detroit. I played that in the gym like on the New York, in the morning. Like Missouri, like I know what it don't look like. Yeah. <laughs> I play that. Everywhere I go, man, it's like they anthem. Like, like right to this day, like I just came from Oakland, bro. Like, and I, when I tell you, if you stay somewhere else, like Florida, it's different places you go that they don't play your music, bro. They playing this music that's over here. Like, I was in the club for, I don't know, maybe two hours, and I didn't hear one song that I normally hear in the club 17 times a night from this DJ down here. Mm. And I mean, bro, they got their own wave. And but when they played Geeked Up, it was like I'm crossing over into that world. They going dumb off of like everybody in the club. Like, and I'm like, man, it was a great experience watching. I'm way over here in Oakland. And they 
the whole club going crazy. I'm somebody got me so hyped up, I was in there sweating like a fool, man. Like, man, you just dancing like that's that was crazy. I think that was uh, Detroit, another place. Like the other day, Jeezy did a show up there. He just turned the, the music off, and it's like two thousand people in there just singing my verse. That was crazy. Shout out to Jeezy. Oh yeah, shit was dope. Too dope. Hey, bro. Did I tell you that I play that song in the gym? The <laughs> in the morning. Yeah, in the that. morning. It might not look like it. Yeah. It might not look like it. Yeah. I get busy. Yeah. Nigga. When it, come, nigga. Put, come on, man. T Rex. Man, turn that shit up, T Rex, man. What the fuck, man? <laughs> come on, man. Can you show us your workout routine? You Help know, they, they really believe you now. Because there was some people that had some doubt. But I Bruh. think you just changed all of their mind. Bruh. I think you just changed all of their mind. I fuck with that shit. Die. It do that to you. Why stop? It's Ain't infectious. No it's infectious, man. Yeah. Hey, d- d- you, 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 you what, the, what the young people call a vibe. <laughs> I'm starting to see spaceships on bang. I'm talking about the, 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 dance, the shaking and the gyrating. You yeah. have your own. It's only one Fabo, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 listen, I, I'm going to tell you something. Them I know you didn't see it, but I ain't never seen it. And it's not just because I, I, I can't see that good. Yeah. I've never seen nobody <laughs> do the new version of Fabo. Okay. I've never seen, you know how people keep on, you know, they, they, what, what they say is uh, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. I've never seen nobody take on the shit that you do. Yeah. And do anything Fabo esque or get inside your pocket. I don't never know. I'm about to do it. Like I be seeing these memes. It's, it's so live, holy bro. ghostish. It's spiritual. They got like this one, this one gift for me. Online, like I got these red pants on, and I'm at this show, and you can hear everybody going, Co Fabo, Co Fabo. And they ribbing me up, and I kind of go up on my toes. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Like they trying to call a moment of that, but I ain't know I was going to do that. Like mm-hmm. it was just the, the beat drop, the music hit, and I just, you know what I mean? It just happened. But it's, yeah. at the scene on Twitter, just like every, if you happy, I can't think, I think that's when it come up, like for happy or crunk or whatever, you know, it's a gift. And I I just be like, man, these people is crazy, man. I ain't even try to do that. Like, it, it ain't that cool to me or uh, whatever. I could do it better. Like, <laughs> I, I should have did it better, but. I, let me ask you this. Now, you have children. Yeah. Can they do it? Nah, nah, nah. Nah. They, they, know the like so- they know the songs, I mean, you know. But they, they can't do it like you. Yeah, I, don't, I can't do it like me. Like, I don't, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> you saying some real shit right I, there. I got, I got certain moves that I can do again, but a lot of that stuff you see is just like me catching the Holy Ghost or something. Like, it just Yeah, comes, that's what, exactly it what it is. It comes in that moment. People, uh, I was with Swamp Izzo. Holy Bow. Uh, Swamp Izzo used to be my DJ. Yeah. And so me and Swamp was in Germany. We were going to all these different places. We went to Iraq. We went everywhere. And uh, Iraq, I, seen, they, I seen somebody ask him in an interview the other day. It was like, uh, you used to, used to DJ for Fable? He was like, yeah. It's like, what was that practice and routine like? Then they said, we never practiced. Like, we never. Because I don't never know what song I'm going to do. If I'm going to a set. Uh, a set, set, then it's cool. I, I already know I'm going to have to send these songs in and I got to perform these when I get there. But because of the different dynamics of my music with, I might get to like one of these rowdy clubs and it's all dudes and I want to hear Scotty. And they unpack the club out for that. Like they, they in there. And you get in there, it's like 30 people in the front just on that Scotty vibe. Yeah, I could have came with the CD already made and it's got Laffy Taffy as the first song. <laughs> like it ain't going to turn out well. Like you know what I'm saying? But a lot of my shows nowadays because of the tatted up, blowing up and all these different TikToks and all of that, I see a lot of girls in, in the front, you know, so when I come out, you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to get, like, five girl songs off the rip. Like, you, you see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. 
that's what make the show better to me. Like, I don't know who gonna be in the crowd. How, how, can, I, how can I tell you where DJs always be like, tell them to send me the song and give me the lineup. I'm like, how the hell I'ma know the lineup? I don't know who in the crowd. Like, I give you the lineup and I walk out on stage and you start playing this old dance and shit. You know, it ain't gonna go all way because we got we got our we 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 be in our different modes or whatever. So you can catch me. I'm at a you know wedding reception. I'm at a this. I might do the Cupid Shuffle. You feel what I'm saying? But when I get to you know Club, Club Crucial and it, it, two thousand people in here, yeah, new Cupid. That ain't gonna ain't, mm. gonna, ain't gonna work. Right, uh, right. <laughs> Uh, this gonna, is amazing. It ain't gonna, I got all these different songs, though. Like, you catch me on the barbecue, you know, whole family out there. I'm, do you get down, do your move. Oh, do, brand new shoes, shuffle. I'm gonna have that fun face on. I'm gonna be, like, you catch me around them niggas, nigga. I'm in a geeked up, I can't see. All the walls keep looking at me. And they all gathered around, and we looking at each other, nigga. And it's, it's just a vibe. Like, it's, I got all these different vibes, like, you know. It just depends on where you catch me yet on how we gonna kick it. Word. Yeah. Hey, man, yo, you got my head spinning right now, man. <laughs> That's dope. Don't know. I, I'm seeing a whole bunch of different <laughs> ideas and stuff. Yo, T Rex, you you don't, it, it, don't you, know you other artists, right now? Yeah, I'm with you. Don't know other artists ever do it like that. Bro. They always, they, they force feed the crowd as to what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get. Yeah. This is what I came with. He going off the vibe of the crowd and he yeah, build man, off and that. I That's hate dope. to be at the shows when you fools get up here. And y'all looking and rapping straight to me because the crowd ain't into it. I'm like, go back over there. Like, go back over there on that side of the stage. Like, because they always put the VIP on the stage or right by the stage. And whoever the dude is that got, he know his songs hit, though, for all these people. But the night they just ain't feeling them because, you know, maybe I went first. Or maybe there's some other stuff going on or they waiting to see the show, regardless of what. Don't come over here and start rapping to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is, that's the new, I don't know what to do. That's the new song, Don't Follow Fable. Don't, don't rap to me. <laughs> don't fuck, bruh. Got, don't these follow are Fable. the moments where you, where, you, where you create your character. Like, you create something that makes, pull them in. Me and Goldie were talking about this earlier. I was telling them about it. Was a, it was a you sung the wrong song I, first. I, yeah. It, you it, sung the wrong you song just, first. Don't intimidate me. Yeah, don't, you yeah. sung the wrong song for you. Gotta, if your song, if my song ain't going good, I'm turning around and looking at the DJ. Cut. Instantly. I'm not finna sit here and do the whole rest of the song. Like, everybody sitting there looking at the nigga like, I love this song on the radio, bro, but you ain't, bring, you ain't coming out with it today. Like, you just turn it off. Bring it back later on. Ray Ray Funk it back. I seen Cool in the Game the other day. And they started out with Celebration. But it was like, Celebration. I watched the whole little hour and a half long show on YouTube. But they stopped it. But it got the crowd so hyped up, they ran through the whole set. And, you know, I seen little break dancers out there on the floor killing it. You know, they, they were doing their thing. And then at the end, they brought the Celebration back. Mm. Boom, they killed it. Like, you know, but they, I mean, it's, it's a way you start. You know, they knew what their crowd wanted to hear off the rip, which was a Celebration, number one party song in the world and uh boom they hit them with a little bit of as soon as they came out on stage like don't come out on stage doing the the jingle jam and don't nobody know nothing about that get the jingle jam do the jingle jam and you trying to make everybody in the crowd do it and they just looking at you like jingle jam your ass on out of here like and you just force feeding it they don't want to hear it bro don't you know you want to hold the crowd boom 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 <sighs> Boom, boom, boom. <sighs> then you bring them down a little bit, talk to them. How y'all doing? Da, 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 da. You kill about four, five minutes like that. Then you hit them again. Boom, boom, boom. This time you got to slide across the stage with <laughs> Hold your arm up, pole for it. <laughs> then come back. Like, you got to give it to them. Like, you feel those people spent 20 40 $60, maybe $100 to come to the concert for you to do this in your chain. I don't know whoever they need choreographers like this. <laughs> like how old boy did on the fire heart beating that yeah. ass down. Let me show it to you. Yep. You know. Hey boy, you ain't shit. <laughs> Just like <laughs> I thought. <laughs> yeah. Show him, dresser. <laughs> show him. <laughs> Cat daddy. <laughs> yeah, man. But I mean, it, it's like that though. But I don't know, somebody skipping past it nowadays. 
<laughs> and he thought he was killing it. He thought he, he was killing it. <laughs> he thought he was killing it when he hit that mug. Show him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sarge had got on that ass. Yeah, man, if your show ain't working, turn that shit off. Hey, bro, you put What's me on right now, man. I got so many ideas that's flowing through my head yeah. and shit. Man, I'm a, like, hey, hey uh, bro, you know, like, I got, I got, like, you no, know, it's about like five, six more questions for you, man. I know you got some more famous shit to do, but I need you to come back and fuck with me on this show, hey, bro. Hey, man, I'm here, bro. I, I need you to come be, be regular with me on this show, I don't my man. I mind come hanging out with that thriller, man. Yeah, because we, we, we talked about this a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Love lifted us up where we yeah. belong. <laughs> nah, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, that was your mic. Okay. <laughs> you you did that one went on my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, yeah. but I, I get it. Yeah, yeah they dig, dig, yeah. dig, dig. Uh, let's talk about the $2 bill thing, man. Yeah. You know, New Face just hit me up, and he was like, hey, man, I don't know how the fuck he knew you was coming here, <laughs> but he was like, hey, man, Shout give me the sign. Shout out to New Face. was there. Yeah, he was there, man. He, yeah. Hey, hey, fuck me up, man. Because, you know, I, I'm, I, yeah. I can't see my phone because I got glaucoma and shit. I, I let Siri read my phone. That's the only. said, New Face. Nufus, <laughs> Nufus said, said, just sent you a message and said, just said, just said, and he said, yeah, get, make sure, motherfucker, you get Fabo yeah. the yeah. goddamn sign your two dollar bill. What yeah. does he mean by that? Well, yeah. I don't have a two dollar bill. Nah, I used to, I, I used to give out two dollar bills for my autograph. So a lot of people in the beginning got two dollar bills as my autograph. So a lot of people walk up to me right in the day to me, I still got that two dollar bill you gave me, you know, back then. So it's, that's been sixteen years. So two dollar bill. Let me have that two dollar bill for sixteen years. I'd be like, nah, that ain't the same one. Nah, <laughs> they were crispy though. They was fresh out the bank though. I got like, I think I got like six thousand. I ordered like six thousand of them. So you got six thousand dollars to me, give away. It took me about two years to give them all away. Yeah. Now, I still had about four five hundred dollars in my closet. About a couple of months back, I had found about four five hundred dollars worth of them. You spent it or you? Uh... Nah, I still got some of them. Like yeah. Wow, man. Now, what was the significance in that for you? I mean, I, my, I wanted everybody to know my name was $2. Because when I was in jail, they put Fabo on the album. But all my friends called me $2. You know what I mean? So that would have probably been my rap name. What? But the album was already pressed up, ready to go. I was in jail. And so I couldn't stop it uh, or whatever. So every song after that, that I did after that, you can hear me go, it's $2. What's that? And then stop $2. Stop Fabo. I just started making $2 a, a different character. So you'll know he is this. Cause somebody else named me, like you know, everybody from school called me Fabo. If you grew up with me, you called me Fabo. You went to school with me, you called me Fabo. You know what I mean? How you get Fabo and how you get two dollars? Yeah, but Put I'm just on. saying, I I felt like you split me in two. I felt like that at the time, like damn, they just split me in two. Cause I still, you know, I'm everybody called me two dollars. Like you used to my what's up two dollars? Like every one of my friends, you know what I mean? W was you always you always had two dollars on you? Nah, nah, nah. It's just you know, your grandma always told you two dollars with good luck. Uh, something you know, you take me in the script club, I can actually double the cost of living overnight. <laughs> People get up, people yeah. get stacks of ones that look good. So you get stacks of two dollar bills, you got to get double the stack. Hey, hey. Uh, you go to just goddamn came through. Oh man, this man. You know what this is, that right? That look like one of them two dollar bills too, cause it crispy. C could, could you hook your dog <laughs> up, man? Yeah. Man, man, if you don't mind. Let me come over here side that two dollar bill. In the name of Jesus. Man, new faith. I don't know how you got up doing stuff on here, and you ain't even here. This the new Jack Thriller City show, man. New Face got us having stuff, and he ain't, New Face was here. In real life. New Face was here. That's crazy. Good stuff, Jack. Good man, stuff. thank you, man. <laughs> this is nuts. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm a part of history right now. Yeah, man, facts, man. $2 Fabo. $2 Fabo. What's happening? Hey, bro. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you older than me or not. Mm. But how was you I'm able? Definitely to... not. No, okay. I'm I'm the youngest. Let me tell it. I'm what? younger than that too. What what I do wrong with my hairline, bro? Man, my look, man, look. I got a I got a baby picture in my phone where my forehead been there big. I was in high school. They used to call me Michael Meyer when I grew my hair. Cause I ain't had no hairline. It was just back round like this. So when I grew my hair, I look just like Michael Meyer. Red hair. Jay Cray, I ain't, my hairline, I don't know, I can't give you advice, cause my fault, I ain't losing my hair. 
I know. My forehead just big. I know. You see what I'm saying? And I just, you still look exactly the same as when I had on the Superman my suit. My forehead is this big for I real, look like man. my daddy now. They keep joining me online. Boy, stop. He ain't doing that. Keep joining me with my forehead. You wrong. I'm going to put the picture up. You wrong. <laughs> and the only reason why I don't put the picture up because I had a little ugly part in my head and stuff. Like, just my uncle had cut my hair. You know how your mama had your uncle cut your hair? Yeah. yeah. It yeah. was too big. Mm -hmm. the, the super part. Yes, yeah, yeah. Man, man. They used to call me up. Super Bowl, man. Yes. I you put that bowl around my head and shit. I, I had one of the worst fades you would ever. My fade was faded. <laughs> I had the, the ball, the, the, the ball head with the ball spot in the motherfucker. Part was Ooh, all the way off. My fade was faded. Yeah, yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. I, I, look, the day, the day I took the picture though. My mama swung at me, and I knocked the whole background down after the, they took the picture. Shout it. So when you see the picture, no, I knocked that picture down. But I'm going to post it up so you can see my forehead. That guy it. spent the money for the pictures. And when my mama got there, that when they told her that they didn't have my picture money. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought it was mine, mama. Hey, boy, you, you gave know, it to me when you, I walked you know, out the door. I thought it was mine. You know damn well we weren't paying for no pictures. We kept all the proof. Well, I went to the candy. Kept all the proof. I had everybody at the candy lady house. Come on, Just, man. I had 14 whole dollars. Come on, man. You know man. how much money 14 dollars is to an eight-year-old? Hell yeah. Boy. You was a millionaire. But you better believe it. But I got still got two girlfriends to this day because of it. Come, come on, <laughs> man. Hey. Tell us something that we would be surprised to know about Fabo, man. Are you uh -oh. a gamer? Or? Yeah, I, you would be surprised to know that I'll kick anybody's ass in Mortal Kombat 11. MK 11. 11. I am the motherfucking man. Me and my whole crew. You still got to play somebody in my crew before you play me, though. You, you showed enough in the crew. Um, I got you a home, showed enough. I got a homeboy just took a trip with me. My brother been playing the game all my life. I, every time I can't play, I can't beat my brother. If he played the game two or three times, I won't be able to beat him in the game again. Mm. But the Mortal Kombat is different, like just something about it. So he gets in the back seat and play my other home, but he beat him a um, seven-hour trip, almost 99 to 100 games out of the two of them. He ain't never let him win a game. Mm. Mm. I got back there and beat him on the first game. Wow. You know. <laughs> and I beat him with a broke joystick because he had been playing them the whole time. He had me the joystick. He was like, nah, I ain't going to play you with this joystick. I'm like, nah, keep the joystick you have. He was like, nah, nah, get this joystick. And I got the joystick. It was broke. So the whole time he had been playing them, they had a real joystick. He had a broke joystick beating them every time with the broke joystick. And then we gave me the broke joystick. He knew, you know what I mean, he needed that advantage. I still beat him, though. Best Christmas you ever had? Never. What year? Never. Never? I was always locked up. I got sometime come, nigga. You locked up every Christmas? Every Christmas. About, for about five years of my adult life, I was locked up every Christmas. So best Christmas I ever had was probably the last Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and what made it so dope? Nah, man, I mean, the Christmas is, is uh, from maybe, I want to say 2018 to now probably was dope or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, that's, that's about all I can say about that. I mean, I'm, every day is a holiday. You know that, right? That's how I feel. Yeah, how they pick certain ones that they celebrate the most, though. Like, you know, tomorrow I like is, what you're saying right now. Is, uh, is White Rose Day. Like, I, you know, tomorrow is National Blunt Smoke Day. I don't know what day it is. They tell me every day is something, though. Like, you know, this is National Auntie Day. You know, you don't be getting them texts and stuff through the Facebook. I do be getting all that bullshit. But yeah. so how we choose which ones that we celebrate the most. Yeah. Now you got National Thought Day. Um. Yeah. <laughs> National Reggie Day. What? No, wait, no, no, you're gonna be on that one yourself. That, that's it. We, nah, National Mid Day. Like, <laughs> 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 Nigga got an excuse for having that Nigga, bullshit. You can bring your Reggie outside with the seeds and all on this yeah, day. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, how do we determine? Wet days, like, okay, so why don't we celebrate Mother's Day, Father's Day, like we celebrate Mother's Day? All right. How come I ain't got nothing for Father's Day ever? ever. I don't want nothing, though. I'm just saying, don't, don't beat me up back there. I don't want nothing. Yeah. You know, but I'm just saying, mm -hmm. 
I see all the people on the corners with the roses and the cards mm -hmm. and the, all the bathroom body works all over in the thing. And, you know, you got to go. Lady try to charge me $175 for three pieces of soap and a bell with some rolled up fake roses. $175. Now, she knows she stole this stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> They're going to try to put the plastic around like the Easter basket. Yeah, like the Easter basket. <laughs> like, yeah. like you're doing something. I'm just saying, how come on Father's Day you ain't out there with neckties and, you know, brand new Jordans and stuff or whatever, you know, some men's cologne, all, all kind of, where the Father Day basket? Why you ain't in front of the the the, uh, the wings and things with the Father Day basket? Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. Because that way they be in front of the wings and mm -hmm. things and yeah. the car washes. Yeah! <laughs> They gonna come find you. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying, how come we don't celebrate these holidays like we celebrate criminal? That's right. That's right. I, I, I dig it. I dig that. I dig you know, that. That's that's all right. So every day is a holiday when you're living right. Come on, man. You talking about some real shit right the now. Kids man. always getting presents and stuff. It ain't gotta be, you know, some son want a PlayStation, I'm buy it today. It ain't gonna make them wait to Christmas. Like then everybody else get to play it two months before them. Mm -hmm. right? You know, so yeah, you, every day is a holiday when you living your life right. If you get up every day and you go to work, you get that check at the end of the week. This this your day. This your kid's Christmas day today. Like then you gonna treat them. Let's go to the movies. Let's go to the this that another. You know what I mean? I feel like when you separate days or whatever, you know, you lessen what you doing on a day to day basis. You you, you understand what I'm saying? One hundred percent. Like every day, you know, my kids can get it. Like I ain't gotta wait to criminal. That's how I feel. Like you so I ain't gonna celebrate no day really more than I celebrate the lamb. I'm gonna wake up, smoke my blunt, <laughs> got down the same way I did yesterday. I'm go I might go out there and sit in the car this time and listen to a new song, but it's gonna be different. That's how that's all the difference is gonna be. If somebody might walk up today, I might let them hit the blunt. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know what's gonna make the day different from yesterday, you know. Hey, uh, let me ask you this, man. It, uh, best advice you ever got? Best advice I ever got. Still haven't received it yet. Worst advice you ever got? Haven't received it yet because I've tried some, uh, do some. I ran in the store one time, went to prison. So, I mean, <laughs> ain't nobody tell me shit. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, <laughs> I ain't listen to my mama, you know. But no, nah, I mean, uh, every day is a learning experience, bro. And uh, without each and every experience, whether it's good or bad, I wouldn't be who I am, where I am. So, mm -hmm. you know, it shaped and molded me into who I am. It gave me this persona, you know, to where when I'm online every day, there's millions of people are tuning in to hear me go, boy, stop, you ain't doing nothing. It's like I wouldn't have got to that point if I didn't go through everything. Mm -hmm. Like, so, yeah, I'm the worst advice that I ever got, I don't think I don't receive it yet because I still do some crazy shit. Like, mm. you know what I mean? So, you know, I don't know. You know, and the best advice I ever got, I'm in the same situation I was in, you know, when I started. You ask me, you feel what I'm saying? I'm still waking up in the morning with that same drive, that same hunger. You know, I got to make a song. I got to figure out what's going on. You know, I got to get here. I got to pay this bill. I got to do that. Like, I wake up every day, like, trying to figure out where it's going to come from the same way as if I'm running up, getting up in the morning, bagging up these bags. Like, I used to do that, and I'm trying to make five, you know what I mean, three for ten, all this shit ready. You know, I got an answer for the fit there, whatever the situation was. I worked the, the, the music game the same way I used to work the trap. So every day is a learning experience. So, yeah. yeah. And, and you know, it's funny that you even say that, too, because I don't ever remember one time I've ever seen you or uh, came across you that <laughs> you were different. Yeah. You always been upbeat. Yeah. Happy, jovial, yeah. and whatnot. I never see you on no bad day. Oh, I have I've some shit today, but I, you know. I, I know you have. <laughs> I have some shit today, but I mean, you know, it's just good to smile, man. It ain't, it ain't everybody been to what, what you're going through. You feel me? Yeah. Man, I done been through some shit, bro. Like, you know, 
And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's just a wonderful world. When you wake up every day, you get a chance to breathe and uh, step off your front porch. Like, whereas if somebody ain't got no arms and no legs, like, I don't know how I would look at it. But I mean, it's, every day is, is something different for me. Like, I get to do something else today that I couldn't do yesterday. Like, I'd be excited for that. Like, you know, like, mm-hmm. what, what, what's going on? What y'all want to do? Like, I ain't the type that can, I, I hear people say, say less. Then we ain't going to get nothing accomplished. No, tell me some more. Tell, tell me, me more, goddamn. If we say less, we ain't going to get a damn thing accomplished. Yeah, if I'm in yeah. the room and ideas ain't being tossed around, I'm going mm-hmm. to get up and walk out. Like, I don't, mm-hmm. don't want to be in the room where ain't no conversation being mm-hmm. had. I'm mm-hmm. leaving. Like, I, what's the use of us sitting here? The time you can't get back. I can't get this freaking time back. Mm-hmm. So I just sat in here with you for 10 minutes and I ain't learned shit. I ain't do shit. I ain't gain shit. Bye, motherfucker. Like, hey, man, look, but you going to come over here tomorrow? No, I ain't never coming back over here. Like, ever. <laughs> ever. Like, it's no reason for me to ever walk in this place again. And never. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can dig it. <laughs> I, 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 it's, uh, just to a- end off this last question right yeah. here, man. Um, I've seen a, a couple of different interviews where I couldn't tell if it were real or not. Yeah. Where people were trying to, you know what I'm saying, approach you. And you stay under control, and you were so respectful. Yeah, you got to You know be. what I'm saying? And like, hey, bro, this is not like that. <laughs> this is... Nah, people don't know you. Th- that, that, that's real? Yeah, yeah. Those were real moments? Yeah, people don't know you. They, they don't know you. When I come in sometimes or whatever, because before I started doing these interviews the last couple of years, you had your own assumption of me. Like, you knew what you felt like Fabo was or whatever. And then, you know, you see my son graduating on, you know, my page, you see my other son graduating, you see all of this different stuff going on, like, well, maybe it's not what I thought it was. And then you meet me personally, and it's like, okay, well, it's definitely not what I thought it was. And I, I like that. I don't want to change your opinion. I figure people should just listen to the music. Because once you find out everything about me, you might not like the music no more. <laughs> you feel me? So I didn't do interviews. I felt like, you know, the music sells so good when you don't know that I'm wild as hell. Like, you you know, that's how I used to feel. But nowadays or whatever, you know, with a little growth and everything or whatever, it's, it's awesome. I like you to tell people. You a gentleman. People. Yeah, I like and to tell people, you know, excuse my story. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. You, you, the way you, 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 you like, like did some <laughs> just polite pimping. Yeah. And tell the, hey. You tripping right now, man. This is not how you approach me. <laughs> nah, you? nah, nah. I just, Sir, I just tripping. feel like you know, until you get to shake somebody's hand, it's hard to judge them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So a lot of these cats, young, they already have the interview already together. When you come in there and they go to trying to still ask you the questions, it's like, you know, I'd be like, nah, it ain't, it ain't like that or whatever. You know, I ain't gonna be pulling into that, and it's, 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 it's okay. You know, it's okay. I'm, I mean, I'm used to having normal conversations, so... But a lot of these dudes fake, man. Like, they just flat-out fake. They doing it for the interview. They don't be real fans. Like, man, I've been a fan of yours. All of it, then you get in there and be like, man, I thought you was four feet three. Uh, you know, don't you got a sister named Cheryl? I'll be like... What is it? Nah, like, you know, it's just... Uh, nah. <laughs> it ain't that type of party. 100%, man. Yeah, I'm from Bankhead Coat, man. I'm... I'm from down that street. I'm the only one from that spot, or uh, whatever you know. And uh, it's 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 been a great experience or whatever. But I came up in that same shit that the next nigga. But a lot of people, don't, I tell people all the time, just because you're from the hood, don't mean you rah rah. Mm-hmm. It don't like like my little cousin. He he don't play basketball. He ain't no academic, but he still ain't rah rah. Like, but he be like. He, they hang with him. Like, he always, he got that shit on. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But I don't never see him in no, with no gun on the hip or whatever. Everybody from the hood ain't, ain't with the rah-rah. You got some niggas from the hood that got game, but they ain't with the, you know, they probably had you knocked out too, but it, it, it'll take a lot for that. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's just like uh, every girl from the hood don't sell lashes and, do hell, you you know what I mean? You what what you may think is that's not the case or whatever. You know you're gonna run into some real intelligent brothers that hustle like me. If you came to my spot in Bankhead, anybody who know me, I always at TVs, radios, car stereo, like microwaves. Like I always got some for sale in my house. Like I'm a hustler. Like I always had, I'm just, if you know me, if you wasn't locked up with me, anybody who did time with me, like did a couple years on a couple stretch, 
when you, I got the store, I got the, I'm, ain't nobody selling no cigarettes in here without come through me. Ain't nobody selling no weed in here without, everything got come through me. I'm, I'm on the hallway. I used to work in the kitchen. I, I swept the hallway before, like, you know, I had them jobs that was vital to communication. You, you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, everybody from the hood ain't what you think they is, bro. Some of us just blessed and we different, you know, so don't think everybody carry a pistol. Everybody do this. All we soft because we, you know, not displaying those attributes or whatever, you know, it's just we different, you know. Niggas from the hood just different. We learn how to cope. We learn how to survive. I think that's that's just it. You know, you see me do the leg thing. I ain't know I could do that shit. I said in the song, but I get on stage one night. Whoosh, whoosh, the next check look like thirty five thousand. I did it again. Whoosh, whoosh, next check look like sixty thousand. I'm a hustler. I see the checks bigger when I do the leg thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel that way in the adverse? Do you, you ain't in over here. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just playing. What you say? Fair enough, boss. What you say? Do you feel that way in the adverse? Like, everybody from the hood ain't rah-rah. Do you feel like everybody from Beverly Hills is passive? Mm, I ain't never felt like everybody is passive. I, I, you, you watch the news every day. People knock people off. You see them in there, brothers, kids, their parents. Like, your people just snap, like, all the time. I'm just saying, like, I feel like it, it ain't about where you're from, it's where you at at the time and what you learned on the way to, before you got here. You, you understand what I'm saying? If you still ain't learned a damn thing, you finna get slapped the fuck out. Like, nigga, you came in here with that rah-rah shit and you really ain't on it, because some niggas from the hood will try to gas you. Like, nigga, I'm from such and such, such, such. I'm such, 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 such. And then you get up and y'all put them things on and he out of, man, I just, I just, you know, you get that, that type of stuff too, but you might run into a cat from Buckhead that grew up in Buckhead. That's all that talk just like me. Got that same stamp, that that same demeanor like me. And you know they ready. Like, like with, I'm, I'm gonna pop everything in here, bro. Like don't play with me like that. But he from Buckhead, so you know don't don't judge a book by its cover. I mean that's the oldest thing in the book. But you know also don't judge by what you read in it. You understand what I'm saying? You can look at the cover sometimes and open it up and it'll still fool you. You feel what I'm saying? That's how niggas from the hood is. They, it's layers to some of these dudes. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's, you got, it's like an onion. You got to keep peeling off the layers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you get to the root of it, and he's just the same as all the rest of these niggas. Mm -hmm. You know? It's just that you get a better opportunity. You, 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 it's, it, I, I, I guess it's like this. If you're from where I'm from, it's what you do with your opportunity. Because everybody don't make it out. So if you're going to take your opportunity and squander it, doing something you, don't, you shouldn't have no business doing, then that's you. But when I get an opportunity, like he said, I'm going to be a gentleman. I'm going to be, I can take a lot. I, somebody was the other night screaming at me, somebody going to kill me, all kind of stuff. I'm in my hood, just, but he, he wasn't that type of person, but it just, he was on that that night. And you got a lot of people standing around waiting on me to react, but I got two security guards with me because we was out there for something. And I got this going on, and I got, because a lot of people think it's just me, but when you see me, but I got all this team around me too. But uh, he yelled at me for probably about 40 minutes, and all I told him was, I, I love you. That's all I could tell him. I, what I'm supposed to do, jump up and be the same way he is? I got everything to lose. This guy ain't got nothing to lose. Like, what, he gonna make, I'm going to make the news. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so I politely just got in my car and pulled off when I was finished with what I was doing. I see people that, I've been back to the same spot. He ain't there, like, you know, but I see people, they be like, man, you know what, man? I thought you was finna go off, but I'm glad you didn't, you know? Why? There ain't no reason to go off. He just venting what he felt like he needed to say to me. It ain't nothing to do with you. Yeah, he needed to say that yeah, to me, evidently. Right. Like, but I, maybe I needed to hear it. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But you can yell all you want. As long as you don't violate my space, it's a whole different program. You know, I can't do anything for somebody to yell well, I'm going to get restraint all out on him. <laughs> You're going to swing on everybody that's yelling, they, I've sent it at you. I don't think that's the case. I just feel like it ain't where you from. Like I said, it's where you at at the moment. And if you're given an opportunity, it's what you do with the opportunity. If he, if he wa wastes his opportunity, that's on him. If I, I'm not going to waste my opportunity. Every day is a new vision, is a new idea, is a new experience, you know. I'm, I'm going at it hard every day, so I'm not gonna let them mess it up, no kind of way. So yeah, every nigga from the hood ain't what you think. There it is, right there, man. Yo, I know you got some more famous shit to do, man, <laughs> and whatnot. And that this ain't. Oh, 
We 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 finna get back to it like real big in a minute <laughs> and whatnot, man. Yo, Fabo, is there anything you want to say to the new Jack Thriller City, man, before we get out of here today? Man, we geeked up. For real. <laughs> well, there it is. Well, like I always say, you just can't say you really something you gotta be, man. We about to take some pictures and shit. Oh! Yeah, come on now. Fabo, ATL Legend, yeah. Atlanta man. Yeah. Let's go. Atlanta man. <laughs> <laughs>